in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you exactly how to make branded looking product pages for your dropshipping stores. I know a lot of people watching this video have pretty bad looking product pages. I see it all the time in the comments, like how do you make good stores and stuff like that. In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys exactly how to do one product page stores, how to structure them, how to build them out. I'm even gonna provide you guys with a free theme that's gonna be down below in the description that you guys can use. It's plug and play, super good. But I wanna use this as an example of a very good looking store. We're gonna be using four chicks. I found them on Facebook ad library. They're scaling, of course. They have around 33,000 likes, a bunch of ads. They're even releasing new ads every single day. They're scaling, they're doing good numbers. We're gonna validate that in just a second, but I wanna take a look at their product page first. As you can see, the top fold over here, let me go in mobile view. It's a very, very optimized front fold, top fold. If you guys do not know what top fold is, is the, the kind of page that you're looking at. As soon as you land on the website without even scrolling down. Um, off the top, they have a cyber weekend sale free shipping for US warehouses. They have an extremely good offer. Save up to 50% off, 56% off with four free gifts. They have a lot of reviews, more social proof, very branded looking images. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this in this video. A lot of before and afters, which is really important for products like this. Products that solve a problem is extremely important to provide a lot of before and afters. They even have a 60 day guarantee. Um, get fully, fuller and healthier lashes in 30 days, offering also another guarantee and you know, expected results, super important. Results in two weeks, they keep hitting on this pain point. Um, affordable treatment, long lasting result, revitalized hair follicles. Now, if you order by December 14th, it's currently 12. So if you order the next two days, you get free gifts and they're offering automatically four bottles as the best deal. But you can also order one, but you only get one free gift. So super good, super good offer. Um, your offer structure is actually really important. The top thing I recommend you guys do is to optimize your creatives and second to that, having a good offer because if they don't see good creators, they're not gonna go on your website and if they don't have a good offer, they're not gonna buy the product. So I highly recommend you guys have a really good offer where it's through a buy one, get one free. Um, other offers like a 70% off, very aggressive offers or even a free gift. Having a couple free gifts in there really helps a lot. Um, but having a great offer helps you outcompete your competitors and make sure you always have a better offer um, than your competitors. So keep that in mind. Always have a great offer, but they these guys do have a great offer. Scrolling down, we have an added cart button, more social proof. Then we have a GIF about the product itself. 100% um, powered by natural ingredients. People, you know, don't want some bullshit going on their eyelashes. They want all natural ingredients and they're providing it right here. Talking a little bit about the organic ingredients, biotin, um, some other stuff like here. Then we have more testimonials, um, you know, people talking about the product, verified buyer, more social proof, nor, more before and afters. It's basically restructuring before and after social proof in different kind of sections. You know, we start off at the top with a lot of reviews and then on the way down, we have more reviews, more reviews, um, talking about the product itself and the benefits. So overall, this is a great product page. Uh, us versus them as well, comparing themselves to another competitor because at the end of the day, this product itself, we're gonna do some validation. They are scaling, um, but it's a very popular product. You know, Lash Serum is a lot of competitors running at the moment. So it's pretty hard to get market share, but if you do, you can make a lot, a lot of money. And also at the bottom, a lot of testimonials, FAQ page, and then more reviews. So as you can see, they're really packing on the reviews and the testimonials that's extremely important whenever you guys are making product pages. So we're actually validate this product right here. I like to use a tool called Shop Hunter. If you guys do not know what Shop Hunter is, you're basically able to track how many sales someone are getting if they have a Shopify store. Simply in the Shop Hunter app, you go to my track store and then you add a shop. And as long as they're on Shopify, you're able to see exactly how many sales you're getting at the moment. Um, they're currently doing 6K a day um, and then in the month they're doing 200K. Their sales has dropped off quite a bit, uh, probably due to a lot of bands. I know a lot of people are dealing with bands and stuff. So am I. Um, you're able to see uh, how many people are tracking the store, what theme they're using, all the apps that they have on, and you know exactly how many sales they're doing for each uh, product. So it's a super good tool. Uh, I highly recommend you guys check it out. This video is sponsored by Shop Hunter. Um, I wouldn't be promoting them if I didn't use them. So it's a super good tool for product validation. Um, as long as it's saying something on here, that means you're scaling to good numbers. Uh, so yeah, keep that in mind. 
whenever you guys are doing product validation, try to use Shop Hunter to kind of give you that further validation to go ahead and test that product. It's a super good tool, but um, we're gonna make a product page around eyelash serum because people are scaling it. And if we are able to take at least 1% market share from you know the rest of the market, eyelash serum is extremely big market. There's a lot of people running it. If we're able to take 1%, that means we can make a pretty decent amount of money couple six figures in revenue every single month. So in the description, you guys have a plug and play theme that you guys can use for store building. It's a super good theme. I use it sometimes myself when I'm testing products. Um, but yeah, as you can see on the theme at the homepage, you know, we have a good header here and a pretty simple layout and the simple stuff always works the best. Keep that in mind. Um, it's just basically plug and play. You just plug in your images, plug in your product and it should be good to go. And um, I'm gonna show you guys how to build out this product page. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and do that. So inside the product page, I decided to name my brand Lash, and then I'm gonna make a branded name, including the brand name itself. So Lash, I'm doing Serum, so a pretty simple name. And as well as the product images, I found these from another competitor. All I did basically is that they have a logo, as you can see, well not as you can see over here, but they did have a logo. What I ended up doing is actually head over to Canva. Now Canva is a really good tool. If you go to edit and then magic eraser, you can actually erase a bunch of different things with Canva. So it's a super good tool. I recommend you guys to check it out. Let me go ahead and actually erase this logo right here. Um, this is only viable if you're testing. I wouldn't recommend stealing product images if you guys are scaling because you can get DMCA's and all, all that stuff. But as you're testing, you want to validate the product first before investing into all those custom images and stuff. So as you can see, the Lash Serum logo just disappeared. And that's super good with the Magic Eraser tool. Um, I grabbed a couple of other before and afters from another product page that I found. So yeah, what you're going to want to do is find a competitor for testing. Um, you're going to find a competitor, take the best branded looking images, make sure you have branded looking images, not some trash from Alibaba. And brand new looking images like this, maybe someone using the product, maybe someone smiling with it, something like that. And as well as a lot of before and afters if your product does solve a problem. So keep that in mind. Um, I'll take those images from a competitor store. And inside the product page, we're gonna create a new product. So I did that already in here. I named it around my brand name, which is Lash. And I included it in the name, product name. So Lash Serum, pretty simple name. We included our branded looking images as well as your problem if your product solves a problem, you want to include two before and afters, at least two before and afters about the product, and maybe even a product images talking about the ingredients that it has, because you know some people have allergies, some people even just want to know about the ingredients, whether it has natural ingredients, all that good stuff. So keep that in mind. We're doing a simple 70% off offer, uh, $9.97 up front and a $34 compare price, and we are gonna offer shipping on the back end, so our AOV can increase. Heading into the actual product page, I'm gonna show you the actual first template. I'm gonna go ahead and edit it, and then we're gonna head into the final template. So this is the template you guys are gonna get inside the description. We go to the product itself. It's a pretty simple layout. We have you know a rating here, the name, the sale price, and three different benefits that you guys are gonna fill out. Add a cart button, um, and a different custom liquid over here saying what time it ships out and how many units are left. A basically plug and play design for this theme. Once again, if you guys want it, it's in the description and then another custom liquid for testimonials. Two testimonials down here. So super good, super quick and easy product page that looks extremely branded off the rip. So let me go edit this and I'm gonna show you guys how the final look looks a few moments later all right so i'm back i just finished up the landing page and as you can see we have the brand name up top as well as a new color if you guys want to change the color you just simply go to theme settings colors and select the accents that you guys want uh, i select the pink because our product images are pink if you want to make it as look branded as possible you don't want to make your store look like a drop shipping store then people don't want to buy from it so make sure your store looks pretty branded and if it does solve a problem make sure it includes some more before and afters like i did here so scrolling down we have the same rating thing as well as uh, three emoji benefits well not emoji benefits three benefits saying longer and fuller lashes 100 percent organic ingredients see results or your money back um, on our add a cart button and dynamic checkout, you guys can check this off. And now from here, you have another uh, custom liquid. If you guys do want to change the color for this, all you do 
is inside the custom liquid. You are able to change the background color as well as the border color. So keep that in mind. Um, you need a color key when you want to change the color, but super easy. You can do this for Canva, find the color key. Scrolling down from there, we have a before and after picture because this product really focuses on before and afters. People only really want to have the before and afters. So I really try to hit on that pain point that, you know, if you have short lashes, this is gonna get you better lashes within weeks of just using this product. Uh, longer lashes naturally, unlock the secret and super sexy lashes with our lash serum, no extensions and no artificial enhancements. From there, we have a 30 day money back guarantee. Um, basically saying to the viewer, if you guys do not like the product, you have 30 days to return it um, and you get a refund. So pretty simple. I didn't include a lot of uh, more text from there because this product itself is more self-explanatory. If you have a more, you know, red light therapy product, maybe cellulite product, you wanna explain more about how it functions, how it works, so you can educate the viewer. But for this product, there's no needed. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. It just grows your lashes and has organic ingredients. So I really try to hit on the before and afters. As you can see, throughout the whole product page, I really try to hit before and afters as well as social proof. But yeah, people only really wanna hear before and afters. I know it sounds crazy, I keep hitting on this, but it's the truth. People only really wanna see the results that they can get uh, personally. So from here on the bottom, we have the testimonials page. If you guys wanna add the images, it's super simple. You just go over here and select the template one and then you wanna to go to, if you guys do wanna upload the testimonial photos, all you simply have to do is head to content, files, upload your photos, and then copy the link, and then you're able to inside the custom liquid, uh, paste in the link, and then it'll pop up right here, as well as you can change the text inside here. So really simple, really plug and play. As I said, all you really have to do is change up the images and text, and then the theme is basically good to go. As you can see, I included two testimonials and then the FAQ page down here. Uh, some common questions, you know, how should I apply the serum? How can I use the mascara? How long do I see results? How long is shipping? How can I get in contact? All that simple stuff. A couple frequently asked questions. So after this, I actually want to include a instructions list because a lot of people do, I saw in the reviews, a lot of people do put on this eyelash serum incorrectly. So I want to include this on the bottom for those who are interested on how to actually apply it, include a GIF over here and then some instructions. Then from there, I have the bottom, which is the um, footer, which includes the emails and then policy. So pretty simple setup. And as you can see, it looks extremely branded. It doesn't look like a dropshipping store. Um, has good looking photos. Now a couple apps that you guys might need. So let's say you have a buy one, get one free offer and you wanna display that over here. Instead of quantity, you can install an app called Kaching Bundles. As you can see, this is basically how it would look. It's super easy to set up and you can create buy one, get one free offers, buy two, get two free, and even free gifts. So it's super good as an app. I highly recommend you guys to check it out if you do wanna include some unique offers, which I do think you guys should do. Another app that if you guys do want more reviews along the bottom over here, you can download Looks Reviews. Now it's gonna look something like this. As you can see, um, you know, you have the custom reviews. You can custom make them or you can import them from other um, platforms like Amazon, Timu, I believe so, and other platforms that have reviews about the product. So it's a really good app. I highly recommend you guys check it out. But those are the two apps I highly recommend. Um, you know, if you guys do want to use them, but overall this website looks extremely branded. It's a plug and play, uh, theme that you guys can use, which is again in the description. So once your website done, I highly recommend you guys run some ads. So if you want some ad strategies, it's going to be up here on how I run my ads myself on TikTok and Facebook, whatever platform you guys are running on, as well as make sure your product and offer is good. I also have another video about that that you guys can check out on my YouTube channel. Those are often more important than actual website because if your creatives aren't good, if your offer isn't good, the website doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? So make sure you have really strong offer and you know creatives, all that good stuff. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video and check out those further videos up there. Some more educational sauce. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the description and subscribe if you guys are new. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.